Welcome to Live with Dio, and I'm your host, Shannon Yang. Welcome to my lifestyle segment. Many people like to write, but do you know how to go from a regular writer to an established novelist? And today we have Jeff Fuel. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you Tell for having me. Tell us a little me. bit more about yourself first. Well, I'm a native Texan, and uh, I love uh, writing, and I love the process. Uh, I have eight books published so far. I have a ninth one coming out at the end of this year. They're all available in different genres, and it's my life. I love it. Wow. Um, and what inspired you to become a writer? Stephen King. When I was younger, I discovered uh, Stephen King. I was cleaning out a uh, box one day. I came across one of his books, started reading it, became hooked. Shortly after that, I started getting my own ideas, uh, joined a writer's group, and I've been flying ever since. If, if one wants to become a writer, do they need to major in journalism or anything like that? That's always a good option. Uh, I've uh, had eight, pub eight books published, but I've never taken a single creative writing lesson. I see. Okay, so let's just say that you wrote a novel, right? Mm -hmm. And now what? Now, uh, once you've gone through the process of you know creating your art, now you want to put it on the market and sell it. Uh, you have two options for that. You can either go through a publisher or you can uh, uh, elect to self-publish. And what do you think, what's the pros and cons of self-publishing versus going to the established publisher route? Right? Uh, one of the good things about self-publishing is that, number one, you have total control over your own work. And you can bypass a lot of the, uh, the you can bypass the process of mailing out numerous query letters, chapter segments, things like that. Mm -hmm. Or I can just focus on more on the positive thing and uh, self-publish, and I it's see. much faster. So let's say that you know you wrote a novel mm -hmm. and you got it published, and how do you go about marketing yourself? Uh, first of all, you have to uh, really. Uh, believe in yourself. Believe in your work. Uh, there is an audience out there for you. I mean, you just have to find it. I see. Um, is it difficult to make a living as a writer? Uh, it can be at first, but if you keep uh, 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 doing interviews, marketing your work, trying to find your audience, it is possible. And where do you market your work in general? I mean, do you have any advice for our audience? Uh, let's see. I do a lot of my marketing on Facebook, which is, you know, it's, I believe there's billions of people on Facebook, so I think of that as, you know, you know, one giant audience. You know, there's people out there who want to read, and you know, and I have books out there who want to be read. And I also saw your books on Amazon as well. Is that also another way that you market yourself? Amazon.com too. There's a lot of forums and co and communities on there where you can uh, connect and talk with other authors and other readers. And besides being a writer, um, do you have any other hobbies? I'm also an actor. I see. Wow, mm -hmm. writer and actor, you keep yourself so busy. Oh, uh, always. So, if there's one advice you need to give our audience, what would that be? Be positive, believe in yourself, don't give up, you know, success is out there. And lastly, but very important, where can we find your book? Uh, Amazon.com and also Barnes & Nobles, a paperback and a Kindle and Nook. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank I you. hope that's very helpful to you. Don't go away, we'll be right back. <laughs>